Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick tip for creating an inflatable seam in Modo. Start with a simple Catmull Clark quad ball mesh. Create a new weight map with no initial values. Select the edge loop where you'd like the seam to be and set the weight value to 1. Change the material attributes to your liking. I think a red shiny material will be fun to use. Add a glint procedural texture layer to the shader tree and change the size of the texture to fill the mesh. Increase the glint rays, fall off, and radius settings to your liking. Change the layer effect to displacement. Add a vertex map texture layer and make sure the weight map you created is being used. Adjust the bias and gain to soften the transition. Duplicate the vertex map texture layer and drag one of the copies into the glint layer to use it as a mask. Increase the bias and gain on the other vertex map texture layer to create a thin line. Change the layer effect to displacement and decrease the opacity to reduce the amount of displacement. Your inflatable seam should be ready to go. Oh, look at the time. 